What's up, everybody? You may have heard me mentioned in a separate video or on the live stream that sometimes my decisions are, are based on feel, that it's it's really difficult to, difficult to explain like why I bought or didn't buy a certain stock. In this video, I hope to show you what I mean by feel, all right? So let's say I'm looking I'm looking at a stock, right? Let's just pick a random one, um, a Penn National Game, okay? Ticker P-E-N-N. Let's say I'm looking at that company and I'm not quite sure whether or not I should buy the stock, right? What I'll do is when I'm unsure, I'm going to refer to my trusty Uno deck, okay? My Uno deck. And I maintain two piles at all times um, for times like this where I might be a little bit unsure what I should do. So what I'll do is in the first pile, when I'm drawing, I got to draw from the first pile first. So I'll show you the cards here. This is just numbers, all right? It's just numbers in this first pile, okay? Two, four, six, eight. In this case, um, there's odd numbers in an Uno deck, but the odds are for the suits, okay? I like to keep my life easy, keep it simple. I'm just working with even numbers. So I just draw a card, keep it real easy, and we'll just say six. Okay, so I'm going to be buying 6,000 shares of pen, right? Hold on. There's a second deck you got to draw from, okay? Now, okay, so this is the question now, 6,000 shares of pen, but now there's some additional variables we need to take into account. I'm going to draw from this second Uno deck here, and I'm just going to show you all the different cards that are that are in this deck so you can see the different possible outcomes uh, of this decision process. So the first is this. You know what this means. If I'm drawing this card, that means it's just telling me, don't buy it, move on, move on to the next one, right? Simple stuff. Then there's a couple of these type of cards, like plus two, plus four. It's just saying, just buy an extra 2,000 or an extra 4,000 shares. That's all that's saying. Um, real simple stuff, right? Then we get to this one, right? The reverse. You know this card? This is the reverse card, right? This is this is effectively a reminder for myself of like, if you're really not that sure whether or not you're buying the stock, man. If you're not sure, and uh, and, and there's a little bit a little bit of ambigu ambiguity there, like don't force it. I mean, it's saying like don't coerce, reverse. So what I do is, if I'm looking at pen, P-E-N-N, -N, I reverse the tickers. So then I start looking at N-N-E-P in this case, and I say, all right, that's the ticker I'm going to buy instead. Now that's, if it's not a, a ticker, right, N-N-E-P is not a ticker, I start chopping off letters until I arrive at a ticker. So chop off the N, then we're at N-E-P, and now we're at, uh, what is it, Next Era Energy Partners or something like that. That's the ticker we're buying. See? See how simple that is? Make, keep it simple, stupid. Next, next card. Okay, everyone loves to get this card, right? Boom wild card. I love to get this card too. It's uh, It really simplifies my life quite a bit. And what, what the wild card is telling me, it's saying, when in doubt, shake it about. So that's what I do. I shake my magic eight ball about. And what I'm what I'm saying now is I've already drawn the card. I say, should I buy 6,000 shares of Penn National Gaming, right? And let's just, and then the eight ball tells me what to do. My reply is no, right? But you, I, I just, if I don't get the answer I want, I just say, I'm I'm still, I'm still a little bit in doubt, so I shake it about. Should I buy a pen? Outlook not so good. Ah, just You just keep on going. My sources say no. And you just keep on going until you get the answer you want. Should I buy, should I buy a pen? Yes, definitely. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So then in that case, we'd buy 6,000 shares of pen. See that? See how easy that is? All right. There's one more card. This one. You know this card? This card, what this card is telling me, right? This one's exciting. What this card is telling me is that if you're unsure of the fate, go back to the blank slate. It's telling me, go back to the drawing board. Forget the ticker you were working with. Go start from scratch and don't start screening for a ticker. You don't need to go looking around performing research. It's such a waste of time. What I do is I refer to my trusty game of Bananagrams. You know this game, Bananagram? It's just, again, forget the screening and stuff. I, that, when I get the blank slate card back to the drawing board, I'm just, I just start drawing, just start drawing letters. You know what I mean? Just start drawing. This is going to determine which, if I'm not going to do pen, which company I'm actually going to do. And then whichever letters you land on, you just put them in the order. It's very important. You got to put them in the order that you pick them out. And otherwise you stop buying, you stop buying a, a ticker that wasn't right for you. And then you put them together and then that's it. That's that's the company that you're buying. You know what I mean? So like, that's it. See how simple that is? Keep it simple, stupid. So um, that's the blank slate card. That's Those are all my, my Uno cards. And now when you see me mention in the stream that, um, hey, this decision was, um, was, was based on feel, now you're going to know what I mean.